Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, you know, when you make a change, it takes a while. And uh, we made progress from year one. And I thought the team was set up to really take off in year three. So I can live with that. Pretty confident in my abilities. And, and normally when things like that have happened to me, I've uh, been met with another great opportunity. And that's what I have here at the University of Illinois. Well, you you got great support when Tampa Bay let you go. And, Lovey, it's interesting, I've said this, is that the organizations in college or pro football that win, generally there's less chaos. Do you think in pro football in America today, Lovey, there's increasingly less patience, more chaos, and, and owners are making it harder for coaches to win? Well, I definitely think there should be more patience. It takes time. If you make a change, um, there, there's something that's wrong, and you can't just flip the switch. Things don't happen overnight. You have to have a plan going in and, and stick with that plan. When I took Tampa Bay Buccaneers' job, I thought there was a plan we had in place. I thought that plan was being put into action. But when you're the boss, though, you can you can be impatient. But normally the franchises that do take their time and give you a chance maintain that level of success. I mean, Lovey, you're a nicer guy than me. I would have felt blindsided. I would have been angry. Did you at least feel blindsided in Tampa? Disappointed is what I would say. Yeah. Um, I was surprised. Didn't see it coming. But again, as I said, I thought we had a plan. I thought I was a part of that plan. I felt like I put a lot of things in place for, for the Buccaneers to be uh, successful in years to come. 